Hello, this is Carlos Garcia on this Monday morning. Um, I told you I would be out of town, but I told you I would have a video for you. And here it is. The title of this message for today is God. Success is a bad thing. And before you click away or before you do anything, stop this video. I want you all to pay attention to the whole thing because I think success is a good thing. But uh, before I get into detail, it can also be a bad thing. This might sound hard for some, but don't get mad at me as the Bible is not warm and fuzzy all the time. If you look at Scripture the right way, you will, you will understand. I'm just stating what the Bible is talking about. You may know now, uh, as you may know now, that, uh, you know, I like to start off with a little story, but this time it will be short. As you know, I graduated with my master's from Tarleton State University. Go Texans, that's the mascot. There would be some times that I would help people. With me, I must fell in out of school all the way to graduating, all the, all the stuff I've been through. If I can do it, then that means you can. There is a problem with that, though. The other person might think you have too much pride in your accomplishments. This leads me to the discussion of how success is a bad thing. Don't get me wrong, being successful is a good thing. But when I'm focusing on Christ, it's not good. He is the ultimate one who allowed you to be successful. Today, I'm mainly focusing on success where people do not focus on Christ. So let's see what James has to say about this. Before you dive into the rest of this lesson, I strongly encourage you all to read James 4, 13 through 17. As my Bible has a subtitle that reads, Boasting About Tomorrow. This is a good start to this message because the reason I did not put those verses is that I am not directly focusing on those verses today. The main focus of today's scripture reading comes out of James 5, 1 through 6, and my Bible has a subtitle of Warning to the Rich. Okay, let's read the scripture. Come now, you rich, weep and how for the miseries there are coming upon you. Your riches have rotten, and your garments are mouthing. Your gold and silver has corroded, and their corrosion will be the evidence against you, and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid them treasures. In the last days, behold the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields which you kept back by fraud are crying out against you, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on this earth in luxury and in self indulgence. You have Fatten your hearts in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the righteous person. He does not resist you. Even though I was going to say, even though I read those, I really strongly suggest you read the very first verses I said because it leads up to the verses I was mainly focusing on. In my own words, James is basically saying, all your riches will soon be gone, 
In other words, being, sus being successful does not mean anything if you don't have your focus on God. I think there are times we can get too prideful because we graduated from a being named school or did something that our peers can't do. There will be times where we are like this. There are times that we want jobs to make us the most amount of money. There are times that we brag on someone else because we accomplished so much. There are times that we feel so in control of everything and we have to get to the highest we can get by by passing everybody else. Then we begin to worry. Remember I mentioned worry a few weeks ago and how it is not beneficial. I think we get worried because we are self-controlled and our plans don't go the way we think they should go. And we try to control it. This is the opposite of what James is talking about. At the end of the day, everything and all your successes will disappear. Here is a good example of why we shouldn't act this way. What if the only one you told your success stories died? They would not be alive to hear them. Also, we are not going to live forever to tell them as we are all dying. Dying. Success, if not, success, if not, it's, success is not a good thing if you just have your mind on accomplishing everything you can in your lifetime. God is pretty much saying, let me control your life and you will be successful. If we find ourselves being successful without God, we will eventually become unsuccessful. Listen close to this. The key thing is to listen to God. I should have capitalized that because we need to listen to God and capitalize this too. If we listen to God, what we think is unsuccessful, we will turn into being successful. In other words, God will make what you think is impossible or unsuccessful possible or successful. An example of this is when I almost fell out of school. Sorry, I keep going back to this example but I wanted to go in more detail. There were times I thought I could do it on my own, but when I started listening to God is when I became successful. So remember, uh, unsuccessful will turn successful if you listen to God. I can say without a doubt that if I tried to do everything on my own and did not listen to God, honestly, I probably would fail out of school or college. Well, school, college, and things. At the end of the day, listen to your flesh will cause your success to be unsuccessful. Listening to God will turn unsuccess to being successful. The hardest thing can actually be listening to God because he wants us to do one thing and our flesh wants us to do another. Lastly, 
our fleshly pride and desires will always make us unsuccessful, rather you know it or not. So in other words, I'm saying our flesh desires will get the swivel one temporary, but God knows what we need to be successful in the long run. But the key thing is to God, you got to be patient. And like for me in college, I had a hard time learning that and I had to learn it to become successful. But I will tell you, it is not easy by any means. So like I will say again, if you listen to God, your unsuccessful thoughts or your actual unsuccess will turn out to be a success. It might take longer than you want, but it all pays off at the end. Well, uh, thank you all for listening to my message today. And I just really hope y'all understand it. Um, this is Carlos Garcia. And if you like what you see, you like what you hear, uh, push like and subscribe and hit the notification icon. Okay, God bless y'all this week. Bye.